Hello and welcome to European Open Briefing for Tuesday, October the 23rd. I'm Andreas, your EU investment analyst, and together we will be mainly taking a look at developments in the currency markets, focusing on some of the world's most traded pairs. So the dollar is little changed on Tuesday, and I'm specifically referring to, uh, to the dollar index. While the safe haven yen is gaining across the board, we'll see how the euro and sterling are favoring against the greenback. Italian politics and Brexit continue to haunt the two currencies. And lastly, we'll turn to today's economic calendar. So, on to our performance table. On the bottom, we can see WTI oil. Prices are falling after Saudi Arabia said it would play a responsible role in energy markets. In other words, the dispute with Western powers over the killing of journalist Khashoggi will not lead it to act in a manner that would push prices higher. Uh, also on the bottom, yen outperformance is evident. Euro yen and dollar yen are both down. While on the top we can see gold, which is also attracting safe haven flows. Over here we have the dollar index and dollar yen. The index is in purple. It is near flat. Um, in terms of important US releases later in the week, most notable of those is the advance estimate of Q3 GDP growth that is due on Friday. The safe haven yen, as we said, is on the rise. Uncertainty over Sino-US trade relations, the US-Saudi dispute, Brexit and Italian politics are all boosting the currency. We also had considerable declines in Asian equity markets. Specifically, Chinese shares failed to generate positive momentum after the biggest jump in more than two years on Monday. European stocks are also lower across the board on Tuesday, while, futures mar while future markets are, are projecting a lower open on Wall Street later today. Over here we can see the euro and sterling against the US currency. They are both higher on the day, though overall they've lost significant ground lately. Starting with the euro, Italian budget fears continue to hurt the common currency. The Italian government called for a dialogue with the EU to address the differences, though investors are far from calm at the moment. Developments will be closely watched to gauge the odds for a, clash with, for a clash with the EU, that is between Italian and EU officials, which, to state the obvious, if it materializes, it would be euro negative. Now on to the UK, now turning to the UK, uh, Brexit talks seem to be at an impasse and Prime Minister May's leadership is threatened. This is acting as a drag on sterling. In particular, yesterday, pound dollar lost 0.83%, this being its deepest fall since September 21. Continuing with today's economic calendar, the most important release is Eurozone flash consumer confidence due at 1400 hours GMT, though even that does not typically act as a major market mover. We will also have FOMC members Kashkari, Bostik, Kaplan and Evans making public appearances. Uh, out of these, only Bostik um, talking at 1730 GMT is a voting FOMC member in 2018. Also speaking today is Bank of England Governor Car Carney at 1520 GMT, though the topic of discussion is on machine learning, thus any comments on monetary policy are unlikely. We can also see that Bank of England Chief Economist Haldane is on the agenda. He will be talking at 10.30 GMT. That's it for today. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.